is so much talk about home prices right now and sometimes you might hear average home price or median home price and there could be a really big difference between the two. So in today's video, I want to show you a very easy and simple example about the difference and why one is better than the other and then just quickly plug that into a couple of the markets around me. If you're new to my channel, I'm Jen Kogan. I'm a realtor with Dudum Real Estate Group in the Walnut Creek, California area. I make videos about what's going on in real estate, a little bit about life in the East Bay. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. And now let's jump right into average versus median sales price, which is better and how they're calculated. You'll quickly see which one is better. And I wanted to have fun with this, so I use a bit of exaggeration, but let's just go with it. Here's our town. We've got a castle and the castle is surrounded by a bunch of little shacks or huts. The castle is worth $50 million, but all around it are little shacks or huts, and they're worth 25,000 each. So which number would give us a better idea of what it costs to move into this neighborhood? So if you remember back to math class, the way you calculate average is you add up all of the values. And so in this case, we've got 11 homes. You add up all the values and you just divide and that's your average. So we add $50 million, but 25,000, 25,000 and so on. You divide it by 11 and you get the average home price in this town of $456,000. But can you actually buy something for $456,000 in this town? You can't. Now we're gonna look at median home price which is what falls in the middle, and you're gonna see immediately how much better this is. So I didn't really have to do a calculation. Median means in the middle. Half of the home values would be below and half would be above, and the median home price or right in the middle is $25,000. So see, if you wanna buy a shack in this town, it's $25,000, that's the going rate, that's the median home price. So in this totally ridiculous example, you can see how the average home price really didn't tell you anything, and the median home price was spot on. And finally, I have two brief examples of how in the real world, like in my local real estate market, average and median can be kind of close together or very far apart. First off, we have Walnut Creek, California, almost 800 single family homes sold last year. And the average sold price, which you know in my area, sold can be significantly higher than the listing price. The average sold price was $1,527,306 while the median was $1,460,000. That's a $67,000 difference between the two figures and it turns out to be about four and a half percent. So significant, but not like earth shattering. For comparison, I'm gonna show you Lafayette, which is just next door, but a different market. An average sold price of $2,124,266, while the median was $1,917,703. Now that is a $206,000 difference between the two numbers, which turns out to be over 10% and it's quite significant. In my videos, you may hear me talk about average home prices sometimes. I think the median is a much stronger number, gives you a better sense. The average home price is sometimes the only thing I have available, so that's what I share with you. So that's average versus median home price. If you found any value in this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video.